tonight in conversation with Wasbi Rusan, a big Northeast Live exclusive. Northeast Live, the most viewed news channel in the region. On YouTube, unmatched coverage. Anandar Uthav, Bihu Ahise, Ghare Ghare Ahar Aar, Khuat Chagi Se. Everyday Spices wishes you a happy Bihu. Alpha Independent Leader, Paresh Barwa, live at 8 p.m. tonight in conversation with Wasbi Rusan, a big Northeast Live exclusive. What's trending? Are the biggest newsmakers of the day. What are the issues affecting people? Center counted once again extended. Watch Evening Prime every day at 7 p.m. only on Northeast Live. Northeast Live, the most viewed news channel in the region. On YouTube, unmatched coverage. What's trending? <laughs> Who are the biggest newsmakers of the day? What are the issues affecting people? Center, counted once again, extended. Are you ready to agitate? Yes. Watch Evening Prime. Every day at 7 p.m. only on Northeast Live. All the best. We, the people of the Northeast, can also contest it. Us naam ke andar bahut kuch hai. Purbottar mein kya rahi aaj ki surkhiyan? चुनावी राज्यों की राजनीतिक हलचल देश विदेश की वो खबरें जिससे है अपनों का खास नाता जनता जनार्दन के आशीर्वाद से डबल इंजन की सरकार जानने के लिए देखिए समाचार नॉर्थ ईस्ट हर शाम 6 बजे
Modi is live, the most viewed news channel in the region, on YouTube, unmatched coverage. Alpha Independent Leader Paresh Barwa live at 8 p.m. tonight in conversation with Wasbi Rusan. A big Northeast Live exclusive. Congress Sarkar Kusta Nikar Paya. All the best. We, the people of the Northeast, can also contest it. Us naam ke andar bahut kuch hai. Purbatar ne kya rahi aaj ki surkhiyan? चुनावी राज्यों की राजनीतिक हलचल Welcome to this special broadcast. I have with me tonight Alpha Independent Leader Paresh Barwa joining me live from an undisclosed location, possibly in India's neighborhood. Mr. Paresh Barwa, welcome to Northeast Live. Our viewers spread across the region and outside are watching you tonight. Thank you very much and a lovely good, good evening to you. Good evening, and it's a pleasure having you on the show. Mr. Thank you. Mr. Parish Barwa, you know, the general view now is that the atmosphere in Assam currently is right for the beginning of a dialogue between your organization that is Alpha Independent and the government. Do you agree? Okay, well, uh, let me explain regarding uh, that matters. Uh, the, first of all, uh, the, to be frank, the Alpha I always welcome the proposal of conflict resulting uh, top between the Alpha I and the government uh, of India. Uh, and however, however, it has to uh, that uh, abide our four issues. Uh, that when the, the Chief Minister of Assam goes to power, we offered to the, uh, the, the catalyst to the arrange full talk with the government of India, uh, as he is one of the one of the great nation of Assam. So we always wel welcome his support. Right. Yes, uh, you have you have rightly said that uh, the Chief Minister of Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswas Sharma, has said that he is willing to play the role of a catalyst. Uh, to bring peace in Assam between the government and your organization. Now, my question to you, uh, Mr. Paresh Barwa, is that Dr. Himanta Bishya Sharma, the chief minister, made his first appeal to you for talks immediately after assuming office on the 10th of May last year. You also responded quite positively. What has been the progress in the last one year? Yeah, well... Uh, let me say regarding that uh, progress of the, I mean, uh, the talks, uh, that so far we do not have any knowledge uh, about the proposal of the talks. Therefore, uh, that the, we do not, uh, how to say, nothing said about the talks until we get the so far words from the government of India for the Himanta uh, Vishwa so you are saying that you have not got any formal offer for talks, uh, but informally, 
our chief minister has been telling repeatedly through the media that his government and he personally is extremely willing uh, you know to bring about permanent peace in assam and therefore he has been appealing to you uh, you know to come forward and join the peace process uh, so 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 the atmosphere he's creating an atmosphere isn't it yeah, that is right that is i i'm agree i i'm agree but that the whole matter uh, depend upon the government of india as i said there he's just catalyst to uh, arrange the arrange the talk uh, arrange the uh, talk uh, along with the i mean uh, government of india so that uh, whatever the uh, government of india thinking we don't know exactly but that is why from our side uh, that uh, so far we do not have any knowledge regarding that uh, proposal uh, whether they are, uh, they are preparing or not we do not know anything now now you have been observing the situation in assam for such a long time your your movement is going on for the last 40 years now has there been a change do you notice a change in approach between the present government led by dr sharma and all the previous governments in the state in so far as holding peace talks with your organization is there a change yeah, actually, in approach you, no it is not question of the question of the approaching the, the method but you know that the, 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 we know we know if you if you look back about our top history the many total up uh, peace talk always end up being provocative traps arranged uh, uh, arranged to uh, the, the demolish and the hopes and aspiration of our aim and object we are, we are the experience we are the experience the government of india many times government of india also may knows that are for uh, dragging the same talk uh, and some talks uh, for years so they are systematic that are oppression by the bureaucratic altruistic lies uh, and uh end of end of the uh, day throw at the piece of the bone for the people uh, to to be content with this is the uh, at the initial i mean the, uh, many talks we we got the experience so that is why i went without any hesitation because i am experienced i am experienced alpha i also experienced as alpha also experienced regarding the focal some talks right now for uh, esboria dangoria you know a simple and straightforward question is poresborwa really interested in holding peace talks with the government and end the four decade long insurgency in assam no we are always positive we are always positive for the peaceful uh, i mean uh, fruitful uh, the, the dialogue if if the if government of india has are uh, trying to give us are uh, trying to how to say uh, trying to organize uh, that uh, with a uh, uh, that, that how to say that uh, uh, lying flat state is uh, to mute us that there is no peace talk there is no peace talk between uh, um, alpha uh, alpha i and the doctor uh, so we know we know we don't want to hold, we don't want in the name in the name of peace talk we don't to uh, don't want to wagle in the mind i think you got my point yes that means yeah. what you were saying uh, you know you basically want a genuine approach you basically want yeah. a genuine approach by the government and if there is a genuine approach alpha will respond positively that's what you were saying yeah, yeah. Gen genuine approach means i already i already explained to you that must abide our o issue that you know that no need to explain the more and more about the coish it is a, it's known to everybody about our coish so that, that coish must be reflect on the discussion table that is confirmed. that's it that's must it is must be taken place in the discussion table now you know like the nsc and i am leaders mr muiva isaac su and others would you be willing <clears throat> to come over and have the talks uh within india because that will be also a question yeah that is why we uh, we also are very much careful about uh, that uh, so called some talks you know that that is uh, uh, with the viva 
between Bapta of India and Muiba, it's a perpetual, a perpetual talk. Uh, where, where, when it will be going, and no one knows. Both sides, they're playing the game, not play, particularly Bapta of India side, they're playing at the dirty camps, they're lingering, that they, they are leaders, great leader, Isaac, no more, uh, that uh, Mr. Kuli, no more. And who knows how long that uh, honorable uh, that uh, uh, Muibak, the child, going to ally. That is also a question mark. But talk is still deadlock. There is no any persuasion from the peace talk between uh, uh, NHN and uh, Gop of uh, India. So where, where, where is ending? That is our question. So we doubt. We, we, that is why we are very much careful. We are very much careful about uh, that uh, that the sum talks. If it is some, if the real genuine talk, then we can see. We can see that yeah, there will be uh, there is a, uh, there is some progress going on. So we believe, but there is no any progress. No, no, all no. the time. Yeah, yeah, but <clears throat> but but you know we have also to we have to be practical, but. Can a talks be time bound? We cannot have a time bound talks, isn't it? Because you have to be satisfied. The government of India also will have to be satisfied. You have to come to an agreeable situation. So it may take time. Are you saying that the talks has to be time bound? No, it is not question of the time bound. Ah, it is question of the question of the uh, whether Doctor of India discuss on our issue is they on our historical issue or not. That is number one. This is a very important point for us. Uh, if the if uh, doctor of India talk only some that how to say that that is the uh, like say uh, uh, some package, economy package some SD some like this six well or like that that kind of uh, how to say talk, never be put, we cannot recognize that kind of talk. So uh, from our side, well, but please uh, listen, please. Uh, so, Hussein, uh, please listen to me. I would like to add one point. You know that. Yeah. Uh, we do not support, we do not support uh, that the butter, the butter, uh, our business rights uh, in the open market, just for the, uh, the, the political lesson, like uh, uh, such as, I mean, uh, uh, six duel, SC, uh, SC, or some package or like that. We cannot, we cannot. Uh, I sell our legitimate right like that in the open market. This, this is a very, very clear message to uh, the doctor of India. So that is a that is a very clear-cut statement you are making today that uh, the Ulfa independent will not settle uh, for something like a six schedule status, something like an economic package. You are saying that your core issue will have to be addressed. Now, yeah, now, course. now. <laughs> In your own words, but if you look at the if you look at the other peace talks, uh, the NSC and I am had also demanded that they need a first of all they said a separate independent Nagalim, then they said that okay Nagalim within the Indian Union all Naga inhabited areas have to be under one administrative umbrella, but 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 do you agree that your solution will have to be within the ambit of the Indian Constitution? No, 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 there is no question of the how. How is possible if 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 you put that kind of uh, that uh, condition uh, under it, uh, everything should be solved out under the Indian Constitution? No, it is impossible for us. Why should abide? Why should abide the Indian Constitution? It's impossible to abide the Indian Constitution because Indian Constitution is nothing. Because of the Indian Constitution, we have been suffering more than seventy-five years. More than seventy-five years. So how come? How come we just? Uh, uh, the but, abide by the Indian Constitution. But but if if you get an invitation for unconditional peace talks, it has to be an unconditional from both sides, isn't it? From the government side, unconditional as well as from your side also. People will expect that. No, no unconditional the, from the, from our side we cannot say we are agreed to the unconditional uh, talks. So we must say we have the conditions. We have the condition. That is why. We know that uh, we know the Indian cliques. Uh, we know the Indian design. Uh, how they uh, uh, by by all the all the time by wangling they want to how do you say they want to get us. But it's impossible. They have to be sincere. They have to be sincere. They have to respect our history. They have to respect our history. Our history 
is stronger than Indian history. It, it, it is. This is true. It is the truth. It's the real. It is the fact. I, I can give abundance of that uh, uh, that uh, proof. We have a legitimate right. We have the history, strong history. Uh, that history, India cannot deny it. That is why they have to respect. Uh, India should have respect our history. If they respect our history and invite us for the uh, discussion, of course, we'll go. If India uh, respect us, we also respect uh, Indian history. If India do not agree to respect our history, then why should uh, respect the Indian history? Right. We know the Indian history. And we we know Indian history as well. We know our history also. Right. But if you compare, you look at if you compare it, then you understand. Right. So if the if the government respects history, you are willing <clears throat> to reciprocate. Uh, now, now, Mr. Paresh Borwa, uh, you know, a lot of people would like to know your view. Uh, can there be two Ulfa Accords? I am asking you this question because the pro-talk Alpha group led by your former colleagues, Arubinda Rajkwa and Anub Shetia, are already engaged with the government of India in a dialogue process. Now, people want to know, they are also talking and tomorrow, if there is a congenial atmosphere and you also come to the negotiating table, will there be two Alpha Accords? What do you think? No, first you said the negotiation. There is no question of the negotiation. We, all the time, we alpha, I all the time reflect our uh, one thing, particularly based on one thing that our core issue. Uh, it is core issue. We said that that Dr. of India must discuss on that core, on that our core issue. That is that is the respect. That is the respect uh, of our uh, nations. Uh, so if the Dr. of India don't like to discuss. On the issue of sovereignty, then how come? Whether whether we can get on the table uh, our sovereignty or not, that is another question. But let us reflect our that issue. Let uh, uh, let reflect our historical right on the table. If India has abandoned, uh, I mean uh, that uh, abandon abandon that example or abandon abandon they have uh, the right to say that. Or point that uh, you cannot get, you cannot get it. It is, uh, you you cannot get back your legitimacy right. If they have any that agreement, okay, they can pass. You cannot go along with the gun. Just go to talk that whether we'll get not, whether you'll give or not. If they say no, because of this reason, we cannot give. We can say okay, this is this is our historical reason, historical fact. You have to give us. We have to give it like this. Why should why India afraid of us? To discuss regarding that matter. So, so that 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 is that's the point. You are saying that you know you are there has to be a discussion on your core issues on the table, whether you get all the core issues conceded or not. That's a different issue. But at least both sides needs to talk on the core issues. That's what you are saying. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. <clears throat> but, but Mr. Paresh Borwa, I'm sure you will agree that any negotiations involve a give and take approach. Uh, no, this is you know the, the this is the uh, freedom freedom struggle. It is a freedom struggle of uh, all Greek people. So yet there is no question of the negotiation. There, there is a question of the, the discussion. It, if, suppose you know that negotiation means if we go to the negotiation at the table, it means we are half dead, half good. So as far our study, as far our study. We cannot say negotiation, and we know we know that, uh, that you know that uh, in the revolution, I'm so okay. We we'll, we we are uh, we can sometimes we can fight or we can uh, how to say that, that if there is a positive talk, that's also a positive talk with the, uh, our enemy. Uh, that that also a part of the struggle. We know that is fight. We know both sides struggle and uh, with arms and uh, is. Struggle with a positive talk. We respect that one, but main subject is that uh, core issue. Whether they reflect, whether they allow uh, reflect our core issue on the discussion table or not, that is the big question for us. We cannot uh, before going before going talks. We cannot we we cannot uh, how to say uh, go uh, go with uh, uh, our uh, aim of that 
at the discussion table. We cannot. We have to go a long way. We have to talk. Uh, whenever we go talk, uh, go talk, we go along with our uh, principles. But you are so, ready. Yes, you no. See, suppose tomorrow you come, you agree to mm. hold the peace talks with the government of India. Then you will put your case on the table. The government will also argue their point of view. You are ready for an you are ready for an exchange. You are ready for arguments and counter arguments. Yeah, of course. Why not? But uh, the agreement point should be the, the core issue. Ag agreement point should be the core issue. So why not? That's one point. Only one one issue. We have to uh, we have to discuss on one is single agenda. Single agenda, a core issue. That's enough. Uh, will you be? Will you be? Suppose everything goes fine. Will you be ready to fly in to New Delhi for talks? No, that, you know that. I, as I mentioned many times, as I mentioned many times, uh, at, uh, different uh, media on different media, that talks should be the stand, uh, international standard. I don't know. I don't want to explain more and more about the international that standard. So if you have, uh, I think. Uh, I think you have a huge knowledge about what is called the uh, international standard. So why should go uh, directly to the uh, that uh, that enemy that uh, carries? There is no question. Should I go? Uh, should I go directly enemy case? Who will give me a grant? This is the strategy. This but is, uh, but yeah. yes, I yeah. I can get your point. But suppose you get a formal invitation from the government of India, would you still consider the Indian government as your enemy? Yeah, as long as there is no solution, as long as there is no solution, we have to consider like that. If there is a solution, if there is an agreement, then we will get the, maybe at the very next day, India will be our friend. It is an international politics. We have to maintain like that our relation. But you have to, quote unquote, you have to respect the enemy also. Yeah, it, it's a, how to say, once it's happened like the international policy is very, very normal, it's very common. It is very common. What is going on between Japan and America? Now, the America's best friend is Japan. How do you think? <clears throat> Absolutely. Now, I, I, I will, I will. I mean, basically, you know, basically, you are what you are saying is that the Ulfa Independent. You are absolutely positive. You are ready to join talks. You are ready to place your points of view. But you want a discussion on the core issue. And then the, your core of issue course, is the course, issue, course. core issue is the issue of sovereignty, quote unquote. Now, yeah, uh, I want right. your I want your reaction. You know, we have been all closely following for since 1997. Mm -hmm. We have been closely following the Naga peace talks between the NSC and IM and the government of India. Now, uh, they had various issues, but today the NSC and IM is saying that their core issue is the demand of a flag and a constitution, separate flag and a constitution for the Naga people. So that is their core issue today. What do you think of that? <clears throat> Regarding the, the NHN, the, the, the issue, uh, the, the, which they reflect on the discussion table, I, do, I don't want to comment anything about that. That is their matter. That is the Naga matter, NSN matter. I don't want to put my nose uh, over uh, uh, over that matters. Yeah, but because I was asking that question because over the years of negotiations, a lot of differences have been definitely narrowed down. So I was taking to asking you this question in the context of the possible talks between the government of India and your organization that is the Ulfa Independent. Uh, so yes, you you I I quite understand your point. You are saying that you are ready to discuss. Whether all the points you 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 get or not is a different issue, but it should be discussed on the table by both the sides uh, in a mature manner. That's what you are saying. True, 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 true. Yes. Right. That's I like. Right. Now I'm asking you a slightly different question before I go for a break, uh, Mr. Parish Barwa. You know, uh, how would you like to go down in history? Uh, you know, a lot of people wants to know, as someone who who used violence to finally arrive at peace, 
or someone who used violence to get demands fulfilled because you you <coughs> seem you 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 seem to be you know if you join the peace process that means you are looking for peace ultimately at the end of the day you are looking for peace oh, no no you are no, you are you're wrongly interpreted okay. uh, that, uh, about, about our amen object we are not uh, struggling for a peace where is you, where you will get it uh, absolute peace in the world there is no absolute peace in the world so we are we are struggling to get to to get back our uh, lost country that is uh, that is our amen object that is our dream that is our practical dream Okay, we will go for a short break, but don't go away. I'll be right back. I am in a very engaging conversation with the Ulfa independent leader, Mr. Paresh Barwa, his first live interview to an English channel. There is a lot more to discuss uh, about he, where, whether he misses Assam, what he misses the most in his present life and a lot more. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Northeast Live, the most viewed news channel in the region, on YouTube, unmatched coverage. Borun. Hi ma. Gharat baru kajya kori hai sa niki. Buari na hilze. Eti ama gute ma tu yatei thakim. Ki? Obay se cricket tu ama dhoriye salar kotha. Notun TV logala. Hmm. This is the nai logwa. Ki deuta. Ari kyo kori hai hila? Jan. Full to hokolu no kore jan. Cricket or asol partner hole ke bol dish HD. Onupam picture, onupam sound. Normal damo tepoa HD. Matro duho te tristo ka ema hot. Dish no hai. Dish kya hoy to? Adhar on steel. Ene koi pore. Malton Steel, any koi pare. Dom koi. विमल कब भागा के सिरी Welcome back. I am in conversation with Ulfa independent leader, Mr. Paresh Barwa, joining me live, as I said, from an undisclosed location. Uh, Mr. Paresh Barwa, once again, welcome back to the show, to this special broadcast. Now, Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> now, now, you know, uh, you, you are saying the core issues. Now, you have said it in a plural form. Is sovereignty, the question of sovereignty, a lot of people will argue that it's an abstract construct. A lot of interpretations can be done. So what are the, what, if when you say core issues, is it only one? Is it two, three? Is it many? Can you please explain a little bit? <clears throat> the, the, you see that, uh, uh, that core issues, I, 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 uh, I did not mention the core issues. I said the core issue, uh, or the single issue. Sovereignty of Assam. Okay, so that involves everything you are saying. Yeah. Discussion should Inclusive. center around Inclusive. your core issue, uh, and discussion should center around your core issue, and rest of the rest of the thing will fall in place. 
Uh, there is no, no need to discuss on, about the, uh, the other issues, only the single issue. We would like to discuss on the Swansea of Assam. That issue is important. The others are not important. No, no, but, but yeah, that is true. You are you are insisting on that. You are saying that, but you know, for for the talk should. But don't you think that that is a condition? Don't you think that that will be a condition? Will you? Are you not open for? Not not open for uh, to talk with the government of India with an open mind. No. Yes. First, India should realize. Uh, at the same time, India's India leaders must respect our history. If they do not know our history, then always they will say like that. But us, they have to study our history. So, you know, they just I, I would like to give some uh, simple example. Simple example. That example is like that. that in, in the history of Assam, uh, we resisted the Mughal invention which India succumbed to. That, that is very important for her. all the Indian political leaders should be listened, should be listened to my, my voice. That so we resisted the Bugal invention, which India succumbed to. And in addition, we, uh, we have resisted the British invention for a substantial the amount of time. That is, if you compare with the India and uh, Assam, then you will know some history. Then even the Indian leaders also respect us, our particularly our the history. This is the, our history. They, no, no, nobody can deny it. This is the truth. So they have to respect us. Why not? Now, <clears throat> an another issue that is hitting the headlines, that is hitting the media headlines now, for the last couple of months is the issue of recruitment in your organization that is will find dependent and the recent death sentences and executions by your group. Now, my question is, uh, I'm asking you a very simple question. Is death sentence the only means of punishment uh, for those people, you know, who you are accusing of being spies and so on? You see, <clears throat> you see, Mr. Uh, Hussein, we are, we are not abiding the Indian constitution. We are ab abiding our own constitution. That constitution belongs to the Alpha I. So that is a, there is no question. Uh, there is no question to ask regarding our constitution. We never ask the Indian constitution. Uh, whatever the Indian constitution under the Indian constitution, uh, security forces they impose the law against us. There, this is not our question. So we we, uh, we have been abiding our since 42, 43 years, 43 years. So as per our constitution, we gave the punishment because, because of their involvement in heinous crime. Yeah, they they become into that. They become into that uh, as they into that in, in our camp and to, uh, to assassinate some of our uh, leaders. So that is very heinous crime. That is why they got a punishment. There's no question from our side. Uh, it's not related to the Indian, Indian penal court or Indian justice. So it, it is our own justice, own jurisdiction. But that is why I would not like to say anything about that matter. I, 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 I respect your point of view. I respect your point of view. But again, are you not worried about public opinion? Uh, you know, because after all, you said that your organization represents the interests of the people of Assam. So there is something called public opinion also. It is not uh, how to say that those people are very much how to say they the time to time the the uh, uh, in end that uh, remarks uh, regarding that matters. I don't know that they are already been bad with the Indian. So they are they are mentality, they are way of thinking quite a different. They are they are they are not uh, binding with the patriotic jail. Patriotic jail. They are, they do not have any interest about the uh, uh, that tall uh, Calgary independent. So they are concerned only the India, India. Ah, they are the selfish mind. They do not know the uh, history of, of Assam. They do not know the, uh, what the alpha, that I, the, the sacrifice. They are like for whom, for which. They, have, uh, they do not have any idea. Only just they uh, say something. They want to speak on our principle. So that is, they are not real our support. We don't, we don't care for them. The, those who are real our support are those 
those who believe our principle, those who respect our uh, the, 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 the amen of them, but the, we all the time respect it. Those who are say something all the time, whether you good or bad, it doesn't matter, they will start uh, speaking on our principle, on our activities. That is their nature. So we don't, we don't like to say anything. We don't regret also. No, 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 you know, uh, Mr. Parish Barwa, you know, you have been leading uh, an armed insurrection. You have been leading an armed insurrection for 40 years. You have visited many countries. You have lived in many places under difficult circumstances. You have talked to many people who are leading other movements uh, outside the country. Uh, my question is simple. You, you are a very well-read man. I'm going to ask you what books are you reading now? That's uh, slightly later in the interview. But, uh, but Mr. Paresh Barua, uh, you know, do you think uh, that you know, uh, through an armed revolution, through an armed movement, you can, will be able to achieve your goals? Uh, you'll be able to achieve your goals because uh, you have seen how India attained freedom under the leadership <coughs> of Mahatma Gandhi. It was an absolute non-violent movement. You have seen how the British killed hundreds and hundreds of Indians. You know about the Jallianwala Bagh massacre, the British killed uh, innocent Indian people. But still, the Indians led a very non-violent movement under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. So my question is very simple. Honestly speaking, do you think an armed struggle, you can achieve your objective? Uh, I'm not asking about Ulfa independent alone. I'm speaking, I'm asking you a general question. Yeah, <clears throat> you asked me very, very interesting question. Uh, that uh, we never said, we never said that uh, we are going to defeat the India. But once, once we ask our destiny right, then what? What India uh, retaliate against us? They use gun. They use gun against us. When we ask our destiny right, they use gun against us just to protect for our self defense. We are taking up the guns. Uh, we are. We, we never said we are going to defeat the India. We never said like that. We say we are taking arms just for uh, self defense, self defense, and but at the same time you said about the Mahatma Gandhi. What about the the, the I mean the Subhash Chandra Bose? What what about the others? What uh, what, what what about the others? Those who martyrs for the uh, freedom of India, like Bhagwan Singh and others. What do you call them? Okay, now 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 oh. now. Another question I'd like to ask you, uh, obviously you agree that your issue, the movement that you are leading, do you agree that it's a political movement that requires a political solution? Of course, <clears throat> that is why all the time we emphasize that it should be uh, shown by the political uh, po political way. So that is why we are. We said, okay, we are not opposed of the, the fruitful talk where we can reflect our uh, the, the, I mean, uh, but Tolguri, that that one, uh, uh, independent rights. So that's all the time we say like this. <clears throat> right, but but yes, you you agree you agree that your issue is a political solution. Oh, sorry, your issue is a political one that requires a political solution. Now we we have a chief minister in Assam, Dr. Himanta Biswas Sharma, who you have said many times that he is trying to make a genuine effort. He is making a a, a lot of effort to create a situation so that there can be a peaceful political dialogue uh, for peace in Assam between your organization led by you and the government. So, uh, so do you agree that Dr. Hemant <coughs> Mr. Sharma at least is making some efforts? Of course, we appreciate. We already appreciate it. Then uh, you, you know that uh, I know his uh, that uh, capacity. Uh, I know his skill. That is uh, all the time I said that. Uh, he's not uh, only uh, he's not only does uh, uh, steady, uh, steady looking that a politician, but uh, the the the, the Bishwa Sharma is the political leader uh, as well as uh, Chief Minister of Assam. He knows he knows very clearly he knows that uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, between the duty and uh, advantage. He knows he knows the uh, the the. That uh, how to say that a genuine maxim of uh, uh, that uh, and uh, uh, honest and uh, uh, magnanimous uh, uh, the policy of uh, I mean at the uh, how to say at the uh, solid 
reward of the uh, public, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the prosperity and the university. He knows very well. That is why we have a full confidence. We have a full confidence on him. That is again and again. I said like, yes, he is the capable chief minister of Assam. So he can do something. He can influence. He can influence the, uh, uh, the, the Indian leaders, those who are sitting in Delhi. Then he can influence. We believe. We have a strong belief on him. In him. So that is a, also a very significant. Uh, we, I will personally will consider it as a very positive uh, development because from 1979 to now, uh, there have been several chief ministers in Assam. At the end of the day, it is a problem concerning Assam, and the political leadership in Assam will have to take the initiative uh, to convince the central government for a peaceful dialogue so that both sides can come together and trace out a solution that is acceptable. Now you are saying <clears throat> now you are you are you are saying that uh, that is what I was asking in the beginning of the interview. That means there is a definite change in approach that you see. You said that you have full confidence in uh, Dr. Himanta Biswa Sharma. You see that. You're also saying that he has the capability to convince the central government to bring the two sides to the negotiating table and work out the solution that is acceptable to you. Yeah, <clears throat> that, is why, that is why I like to like to say that uh, let him cast uh, his uh, bread upon the water. Again, I like to say let him cast his bread upon the water. In, right. the, in the better sense, right. I would like to say it like that. Right. Now, you know, when when Ulfa was taking shape between 1979 to 1989, in the first decade, first 10 years of the formation of the Alpha, uh, was violence the only means you thought could enable you to fulfill your dreams and agenda? I was talking about what were you thinking uh, in the first, you know, when Ulfa was taking shape, uh, you had several meetings starting from that famous Ronghor meeting and others, when some of your top leaders were in jail together, you had discussions on many things. So did you think at that time that violence was the only means to achieve your end? Yes, sometimes. Uh, it's not a question of uh, the, the violence. It is not a question of the violence. It is a question of the barrel of gun. Barrel of gun. You know, you make the policy. Yeah. Uh, that, that is also, it is not a question of the, uh, the, the uh, violence. It is a question of the gun, barrel of gun can make police. That is, that is, the, uh, that, that is the one uh, uh, is a part of strategy. You cannot deny it. It is a part of strategy. Achha, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Parish Borba, you know, do, we have, do you have a personally, do you have an icon? Like a lot of people uh, who are running uh, <clears throat> insurgent uh, movements, they said, okay, Chi Guevara is my icon, this and that. So, do you have an icon? It's not a question of the uh, icon, it is a question of the ideology. Uh, it, it is a question of the philosophy. Uh, which leaders uh, followed the which philosophy? I always look like that. Uh, if his philosophy is okay, his ideology is okay, then I have to follow. What do you think about the philosophy? What do you. What do you think about the philosophy of Mao Zedong? Uh, yes, he uh, believed in that uh, uh, that uh, uh, dialectical materialism, basically, and uh, not only the dialectical materialism. He, is, uh, he knows the many. He knew the many things uh, about the politics also. Uh, so we have to learn many things from him. Right. Now you know uh, mm. there have been several peace accords in Assam. Uh, in <clears throat> other parts of the northeastern region, like in Tripura. Now, any lesson to be learned from the peace accords that have already been signed and from the ongoing Naga peace talks? Any lesson <coughs> that you have learned from these things, these accords? So, 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 so far, we do not have any that uh, uh, great deal. Uh, we, we we, there is no any that uh, such, uh, such a great deal between India and uh, some uh, group uh, where we have to learn a lot of but I don't think so far. <clears throat> right. Can you give any example? Can you give any example regarding that matter? No, I'd like to pick your mind. I will not like to uh, make any comment myself today because I'm getting this opportunity to talk to you. 
Khan, <coughs> who is not easily accessible. Therefore, I want to hear as much as possible from you today by asking very limited manner. <coughs> Yes, yes, it, some, 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 uh, some that uh, how to say uh, that uh, accord is very easy, very easy uh, within the Indian constitution. Uh, that like a Boru accord, uh, some other accords, a Karbi accord. That is very simple. Uh, without uh, without taking gun, uh, they have to, they have the right to get the, that uh, that I mean uh, status, schedule uh, tribe, schedule <coughs> schedule caste, six schedules. Uh, it's uh, easily. <clears throat> they can get uh, they can get for the constitution also the constitution clearly mentioned that that people that ST people would have that kind of uh, that advantage uh, for that constitution but due to the that our political top political leaders they are deprived since long time maybe more than 75 years they have been established just for the uh, constitutional right also they, they could not uh, get, uh, got it could not get it. so finally that they took up the guns and then uh, the, the political leaders work up, and then oh yeah, so we have to we have to deal like that. We have to make it, uh, some uh, uh, deal with that people, and that is the series. Now this is going on in Assam like that, Boru uh, effort like that, and Karbi uh, Arbi effort like that. But in Naga, why not Naga? So Naga that they they have been struggling for a, on basis of the historical right, so it is difficult. You cannot solve it. So you have to come out from the, your Indian constitution. Then you will get it a proper way. Otherwise, no. Now it's right. uh, that much. And uh, NSN said, okay, give, give us the flag, give up the constitution. Yeah, they have the right. They have been fighting, they have been struggling since time memorial against the British, against the Indians. Uh, it's still going on. That is, uh, you have to think that. But we have to say, we have been engaging for 42 years, 43 years. So then we just put a, uh, that uh, some uh, the political silicon apps uh, such as that uh, ST, uh, ST, that six students uh, and the case, you right. give us, then we, we keep quiet and then uh, uh, the, uh, says, you can say they will come into the mainstream. That's impossible. That's impossible. Uh, you know, do you regret looking back? <clears throat> Do you regret any action by your organization so far? There is no question of a regret. There is no question of a regret. Ah, we will say uh, that uh, leaders, particularly soldiers, also same leaders, also you are real the revolutionary leaders or revolutionary soldiers. So you should not regret. You should not look back the past. We have to always look forward to achieve how we achieve our uh, ultimate goal. That is our objective. So if, if we look back. Nothing, yeah, but, but if we I look may... back only for history. Yeah. We, we look back only the, our history because history is our and history yeah. our, our life. Yeah. Uh, history, history is our compass. Right. But if I may right. if I may ask this question in a slightly different manner, I, I let me rephrase this question. Have do you think you have made any mistakes in the past? <clears throat> Arise human being. I cannot say I'm not a bad, bad, uh, semi god. I'm I, yeah. I'm not like I, I don't want to say like that. I'm something else. I'm beyond uh, my nature. No, it's a human being. It's naturally happened. But it's not a question of rigging. But the suppose failure. I have to learn from the failure. I have to mistake. Um, if there is a mistake, I have to correct. Uh, right. I have to uh, get some lesson from the mistake. Then I have to go in the right way. The correct way, Mister. Mr. Parish Borwa, right, right. And do, do you believe in destiny? Do you believe in destiny? A lot of people believe in destiny. I, I, I believe in the, the work. I believe in the work. I, I, I don't believe in the destiny. If, if you do not work, you can't do nothing. Uh, that, that's the one person. Uh, nothing try, nothing try, nothing done. That's the, you, you might have that. You just remind it that one. Not nothing crying, nothing done. Right. I that 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 that, that way. I don't, don't want to follow like that. That is why I like to try. I like to try and I get into that. Uh, try and get into that. I'm I'm not like that. Pen, uh, not that person. Then nothing cry, nothing done. That it is not for. Me. It is not for. Me. I'm yeah. always practical. 
I, I look. Uh, no. I, uh, I always like to do something. Uh, right. If there is no sweat, how if you must uh, sweat to get something. Without right. labor, you can't get nothing. Even you, just nowadays, you are in this position. Absolutely. As a, uh, uh, Absolutely. So without it, without labor, uh, how come? It's impossible. No, so no, why. no. <clears throat> and your immediate family. Your immediate family in Assam, your immediate family in Assam has always been talking about peace. Now, what would you like to tell them? Your immediate family in Assam has been talking about peace. What would you like to tell them today, tonight? <clears throat> that, is, that is just their voice uh, to protect by themselves from the uh, Indian uh, occupation forces. Because if they don't say like that, maybe uh, they will suffer in the future. Now that the sedition law already been just listen to me. Now, sedition law already been imposed in Assam. It is undeclared on you know, whether uh, there is a notification or not. I don't know if I heard, but uh, uh, nowadays we came to know many of our uh, that, uh, supporters, uh, supporters, I mean, the jail, jail supporters, the jail supporters already been, uh, how do you say, called by, by say something. This is the sedition law. Under the sedition law, they, they call. Uh, by the police to their station and interpret, okay, and a release. It's True. going on. I get your point. I get your point. But but True. but everybody wants peace, isn't it? Uh, everybody, all the young, the youths of Assam, your family members, everybody. Don't you think that everybody wants peace and they are genuinely talking about peace? Uh, why should you think that they are afraid and therefore they are talking about peace? Now that is <clears throat> that piece protected by the uh, media and uh, the government uh, government component, government uh, the, the political leaders that the piece uh, the, and protected and uh, is uh, penning 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 pen to all over the Assam. Okay, peace, peace, peace. They're going on like this. It happened like this. But real thing, if you call if you call for the uh, referendum, okay, let's referendum, uh, let's prevent prevent whether in uh, Assam people genuine Assam people. Some people, whether they like or not, whether they yeah, like but, but, or not. But, yeah. but Poresborwa Dangoria, but Dangoria, you know, uh, suppose, suppose in, at some point of time in the future, there is a there is a agreement between your organization and the government of India. That means they, they, they will, it will lead to peace in Assam. That will lead to peace in Assam. So how do you no, respond? Not, not, not if, uh, if you uh, if if uh, that suppose uh, uh, one day you will become uh, the independent Assam. First, that is not peace. Peace you cannot get the uh, how to say absolute peace in Assam. First, we have to be considered regarding how we enhance uh, the, our economy in Assam. That is the first priority. If we have the independent in near future, we have to do like. First, first emphasize uh, our, our economy, how we can enhance right. uh, the economy in Assam. That right. is the first in now, priority. First priority is economy. Now, <clears throat> let's let's talk something else. You know, uh, uh, we are reaching towards the end of the interview. Uh, I know that you are someone who reads a lot of books. What what are you reading right now? <laughs> most, most, mostly, I like to read the war, 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 war books, uh, then the intelligent books. Uh, <laughs> war, about war the books CIA, about the Mossad, about the Mossad, some part of the that bro, and like that, uh, some black house, then the old KGB, and uh, that uh, uh, a lot of uh, particularly war, second world war, and uh, what what is going on in. Uh, the now Russia, Russia and uh, that uh, I mean Ukraine. Ukraine. I like yeah. to uh, uh, Ukraine. You yeah. must have, uh, you must not cult of cult cult of intelligence. Where, where <laughs> you go to the yeah. uh, cult of intelligence, uh, the access of uh, uh, CIA. That also that's a very interesting. <clears throat> uh, so uh, I mean I I was yeah. I was reading that Shelby Tucker's book. You know Shelby Tucker. Yeah. You met him yeah, yeah. in the you met him in the jungles. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you remember yes. that. <laughs> how do you how do you know? How do you know? <laughs> I read the book and he has written it in the book. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Acha, by the way, by the way, 
you last visited assam exactly 20 years ago exactly <clears throat> 1992 and now it is 2022 uh, you visited yeah. assam exactly i think 30 years ago is it uh, 92 uh, to... I, 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 yeah i visited uh, 1992 92 and tell us a little yes. bit about that. Tell us a little bit about that because, you know, a lot of people thought that, you know, you came to Guwahati or you are here, you are there, you are in uh, uh, Kamloop district or you may have even gone near your house. There were a lot of speculations. <laughs> no, but many times I already, uh, how to say, I told that history, that uh, how I face, uh, yeah. how I enjoy. But uh, I would not like to say again and again regarding that matter anyway uh, that that was a very uh, that, that was a very difficult journey uh, right from Bangladesh to the, the Bhutan, Bhutan to uh, up to the Samju, Samu Jankha, then the Bhutan camp. Uh, during the journey uh, the, there is a lot of hurdle even the, uh, the, the Indian army also tried to harass me but I'm uh, fortunately I could able to escape uh, from that trap. My my final question to you: Can we conclude? Can we conclude by saying that Mr. Paresh Borwa is hopeful of returning to Assam soon, a free man? No. Uh, one thing is, uh, let me uh, say very clearly uh, that uh, how can I go empty-handed the uh, Assam? How can I step in Assam without without uh, any? Uh, I mean, the gift the People of Assam. So it is. Uh, it is very difficult to say. Uh, it is uh, to say or uh, say something. Uh, whatever you ask me. Sorry for that. Yeah. Sorry for that. So so <laughs> it's very so, difficult, a very difficult question. So uh, you are saying without. Yeah. So you are saying that the ball ball is in the court of the government of <laughs> India. Now, yeah, of course. So the, uh, one thing, no, I, I I would like to keep ruling my uh, my life in the uh, revolution, uh, revolution. Keep keep ruling my life uh, in revolution uh, for the motherland as well as the of Assam. Absolutely. I don't know where I'm. Well, I don't know. I cannot keep any kind of where I'll be. Mr. Parish Barwa, thank you very much for speaking to me on Northeast Live. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Welcome. The pleasure is mine. So that was the Ulfa independent leader, Paresh Borwa, in this exclusive conversation with me. And that was, by the way, the first interview to an English news channel, live interview to an English channel given by the exiled Ulfa independent chief, Paresh Borwa, from an undisclosed location. Thanks for joining us on this special broadcast. Good night. Northeast Live, the most viewed news channel in the region, on YouTube, unmatched coverage.